Hey friend, have you ever wondered how to convert an audio track into a MIDI track? I wanna show you exactly how to do that inside of Studio One. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna be honest with you, the first time I tried this, it was I was totally blown away. I've always been able to export a MIDI track or convert a MIDI track into an audio track, but never the other way around. Um, to do this, you're gonna need Studio One Professional because Studio One Professional comes with Melodyne, which is what we're gonna be using to um, convert the audio. So the very first thing you're gonna do is to either right click on your track or you're going to um, click Command M and that's gonna um, edit the track with Melodyne, okay? And it's gonna basically detect the audio and it's gonna look like this once you've done that, all right? Now over here, depending on what kind of instrument you're using, uh, there's different ways in which to do it. So there's different algorithms. So in this case, we have a complete piano track. Um, so I'm gonna choose polyphonic. Polyphonic means um, more than one in, uh, note playing at the same time. If you're u using like a standard melodic, such as vocals or a bass guitar, you'd use that. Percussive would be for drums, okay? It's all detected now inside of Melodyne. And you know that because as you look at your track, it's got these little uh, dots all over it. And then you go ahead and create a MIDI track and load your instrument into that. And then now all you have to do is drag this audio track onto your MIDI track and voila, you have, or voila, <laughs> you have all of your MIDI information in here. And then you can do everything that you uh, are normally able to do with MIDI. So let's give it a listen. So this is our MIDI window. So now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and quantize this. I did notice that it kind of duplicated a couple notes in here that um, I didn't mean to do. So you could obviously edit those, delete those, or fix um, any minor adjustments that need to be tweaked, um, or change the, the sound altogether. Um, so that's, that's really cool that you can do that. I do want to say though, if you are, um, I tried this with several other instruments, so it works fine with like a bass guitar, it works fine with vocals, obviously, because that's what it's used for. Um, I did try it with drums. Drums, uh, the one caveat, it will work, but you have to um, make sure that all of your drums are totally isolated. Otherwise, the mics bleed into the other mics from the drums, and then Melodyne picks up that as well, so it's a little bit harder. but. Um, Super cool, super powerful. I hope you can do this on your next project. Hey, if you want to go further, I have a complete course on how to make music from start to finish. It's called Music Production 101. It takes you from recording a song into mixing a song, into mastering a song, and then finally in how to, into how to release a song. So it's called Music Production 101. You can check it out by clicking the link in the description below, and I'll see you on the next video.